Exciting things are happening in downtown Myrtle Beach, including an art trail. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning to show us where you can travel to support artists. That's right, and actually you can travel all the way up and down the Grand Strand, and now you know exactly where you're going because there's this art trail. It's actually been around for a while, but you guys have taken it and extended it, and now it's all along the Grand Strand. Absolutely. So we have partnered with the Arts Grand Strand and the Franklin Burroughs and Chapin Art Museum to do an all new thing called the Myrtle Beach Arts and Gallery Trail. So we at Visit Myrtle Beach um, have decided and we've heard from folks that you know people believe there's not a lot of culture in the area and of course we know that's not true and so you know because the beach gets so much attention we decided to focus this on the art scene and all the things that are going on here so we're really excited to launch this trail it has about over a hundred different locations um, ranging all the way from Little River and the state line all the way down to Georgetown and everything in between downtown Myrtle Beach etc so lots of public art murals monuments uh, galleries, all sorts of things on this trail. So we're really excited to get it out. To yeah, there, there's really a lot to highlight. And I mean, I know you can't uh, really tell, but this just, I mean, it, it takes you to every section, makes it really easy and kind of points out where everything is. And I'll be honest, when I showed up this morning to the art museum, I mean, look around, I was like, oh, look at this, you guys have gone all out. And then I realized, <laughs> oh wait, that's because you have an event here later today and that's what everyone is invited to. Absolutely, today at 2.30 p.m. we'll be having a ribbon cutting to officially launch this thing out to the world and let people know that it exists. And of course, people can come to our website as well, visit myrtlebeach.com slash arts trail and learn all about the different art stops and all the great things we have going on in the arts around town. Yeah. Yeah, there's a really cool website, and here's the, like the pullout I was looking for. So if you, if you are ever looking for anything to do, well, there is a lot of art to see. <laughs> Gotta support the art. I saw Ms. Frida. Yeah. Back there. Really and cool. tomorrow kicks off Hispanic Heritage Month, yeah. so perfect timing to get out there and enjoy uh, Mexican classic artists. Love it. Yeah, right and here. if you want to check out the trail, we have a link to do so on WPDE.com. Just look under the surfboard section. And art is being celebrated across the Grand Strand this morning. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning to show us a new art trail that you can explore. That's right, yeah, they have taken the Grand Strand Art Trail and extended it for over a hundred different places along the Grand Strand. You can see art, and we are in one of them right now, uh, the Art Museum right here in Myrtle Beach, which I want to mention is always free to come to, so you can come walk around. You still have time to see this wonderful exhibit that you guys have going on now. Yes, we do. We're in the final two weeks of the World of Frida. We have 94 artists who have put together 115 works all about Frida Kahlo, the very iconic Mexican artist. And as I say, the whole museum is, is devoted to Frida Kahlo. And so you can see all kinds of work, jewelry, pottery, beautiful um, giclés like this one, just all kinds of media is represented. And the, of course, the exhibit is free of charge. We're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 5, and Sunday from 1 to 5. And on our final day, which is the 25th of September, we will have a tour by our very own Frida. <laughs> and plus, we'll have a crown workshop, a flower Ooh. crown workshop like this, that families can participate in, and you can participate in. I love it. And I, uh, if you take a look around, so the thing that wows me about this exhibit is just all the vibrant color. color. Yeah. You know? Well, Frida loved color, and of course she loved animals. So you see, um, like, yeah, we, there's a monkey over there. She was married to the famous muralist Diego Rivera, and it was a tumultuous relationship. And so that she's, he's represented in that piece. 
Yeah, really a lot. And there's embroidery. I mean, there's just all kinds of media. There's really, truly something, something for everyone in this exhibit. Right, right. And today is a perfect day to come by because you guys are having um, the big shebang for the art trip yes. as well. So the right. celebration. So it's, it's a win-win. Look around and then come the last day too to see Frida. And, right. Yes. Let's put, do you want the crown on? Or no, that's for you. All right. Gorgeous and I Frida love it. And it makes me so happy. Tomorrow kicks off Hispanic Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. The 16th is Mexican Independence Day. The 15th is known as the Grito across like Mexico, but a lot of people celebrate it in the U.S. still. So there's a lot to celebrate for Mexico. So why not throw in some yep. Frida with and it? And the history. Absolutely. A lot to explore, a lot to enjoy. If you want to check it out, the trail, we have it on a, with a link on our website on WPDE.com. Just look for this under the surfboard section. And with no rain, there's exciting things happening in downtown Myrtle Beach, which includes an art trail. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning to show us where you can travel to support artists. That's right, and you can travel all up and down the Grand Strand. I mean, from Little River all the way south and then into Conway. There are so many galleries and art places you can go. And we're at the Art Museum right here in Myrtle Beach, and we are doing a fun little craft that people can stop in um, for the workshop on the last day of the free exhibit here. Yes. So what we have here are little paper flower crowns, and that think is about so these. Cute is they're kind of really uh, mendable how you want to do it. You know, I have one that's kind of a little smaller and then one that's a lot more extravagant and bigger. And the thing about these is they're super easy to make and a lot of the supplies that you use for them are just things most people already have at home. So the first thing, of course, you'll need some paper and you'll get any color you want. And usually what we do is we have people just cut out just a little circle real quick. And of course, it doesn't need to be perfect because the thing about art is you don't want to be perfect with it, at least in my opinion, because okay, good. it gives it more character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, circle, oval, I'll fix it. Don't worry, See keep going. Guys. And then next thing, you just want to cut a little line right into the middle of the circle. Oh, well, yours is a really big circle. I went small. Yeah, that's fine. That works perfectly, actually. Okay. And then what I always do is what we're going to make into a little cone shape. And so what we're going to do is we take our little hot glue, let me put this out, and then you just do a little line. And now, of course, the thing about hot glue, it's, it's hot. <laughs> and so what I do usually is I flip it over. And what I do is I lay it on the counter, and I take, like, scissors or something long, and I just kind of, like, smooth it over the glue. That way I don't burn my fingers accidentally. Good tip. Good tip. And actually what I'll do next is, may I please see this? Yeah. And the next thing, oh, sorry, is usually we create little layers. That way, it kind of looks more like a flower. So what I do, instead of kind of putting the glue all the way at the bottom, I kind of do a little ring just straight around towards the bottom. That way, the glue gets all around the sides of the smaller flower. Just I like love this. It. And of course, if it's a little optional, you can add a little puff ball in the middle. And there, and you have a flower. flower. And then you put them on a headband. Yeah. Exactly that. And you have your headpiece. That easy, you can do it in a live shot. There, you know what? <laughs> That's actually a good uh, slogan and conclusion. <laughs> but yeah, we love to see it. And if you want to check it out and try making a flower, we have a link to do so on our website. That's WPD.com. Just look for this article under the surfboard section. Art is being celebrated across the Grand Strand this morning. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live for us to show us a new art trail that you can explore. That's right. I, I love this. I am so excited because, you know, there is so many different places there are so many different places that have art that Absolutely. people might not know about so you guys have just like laid it all out and <laughs> said here go on a journey and yeah. you can experience art all through the grand strand absolutely that's the best part about what we're doing the myrtle beach arts and gallery trail there's more than 100 locations all across town you can see some of them right behind here 
But um, the cool part about it, what we're doing is there's, so we have a digital passport. So if you go to our website, visit myrtlebeach.com slash artstrail, you'll find the digital passport. You can go and download that, and then you can go in and check her into all these different locations. And as you do that, you'll earn the ability to get some prizes, like some of the cool stuff we have here, t-shirts and coloring books and stickers and all sorts of little cool things. But, you know, really the whole reason we've done all of this is so that people will get out and just see and explore all the different art that we have in this town. So, I mean, everything like... Um, from, you know, the, the, the creatures on Maine. What are they called? The Conway Critters. I'm sorry. <laughs> I lost my train there. Um, so Conway Critters are these little statues that are all throughout downtown Conway that are really cool. If you haven't been to downtown Conway lately, there's lots of cool murals and artwork there. On the north side of town, you can get up here to places like House of Blues. Um, Crooked Hammock has uh, a lot of cool artwork there. There's even this really cool wishing tree. If you've ever been to Vereen Gardens, you can go out and make a wish and hang your oyster on the tree. It's very beautiful. So um, when you come up to Myrtle Beach, you get things like Nance Plaza and the Arts and Innovation District, which they've done really cool murals and things with. Um, especially the Hangout is a brand new place. If you haven't been to the Hangout, definitely check that out. The Illumination Park has some really cool interactive art exhibits. Um, and then, you know, as you go through and go to the south, you get really cool things. Like, I think pretty much everyone knows about Brook Green Gardens, but right. amazing place, obviously, that people want to come from all over the country to. Um, things like the Marsh Walk has a lot of art on it. Um, places like Surfside Beach have these really cool murals featuring some of our best yeah. artists in town. I and know. so there's it. just so much art to explore. And I love how you've kind of like divided it by sections of town, too. So maybe if you live in the South End, then you can go see all that stuff. And then one day you're like, you know what, let's travel up to the north end and go look at some art so absolutely. come experience it and you can come to the celebration today too at the art museum absolutely and if you want to do that go ahead and head to our website that's wpde.com and look for this article under the surfboard section